Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Noodle here, and we are back on Castaway Island. Oh, God, it's wonderful. Um, Strike has been kind of um, antisocial towards our guests. Um, you know, the other misfits are here. He's we got a... on our time. <laughs> He's got... Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got a fat kid and Corey, uh, the brothers of trouble. And we're, we're doing a slow kind of interview with them, it. mostly just getting to know, you know some of the other misfits. Um, uh, today, like I said in the last video, we're going to try to top off this, uh, th that's what I was going to do. I was going to get fucking cobblestone from you guys. That was the original reason why I got down from it in the first place. I got plenty. Dude, I, I gave do, you mine. do you need cobblestone or do you need stone? Uh, stone. If we can do regular stone, that would be great. I have three stacks of regular stone. Oh god, spread your stone all over my face. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. Out. Like Fuck a gravel yeah. road, bitch. Like um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna finish off this, this lighthouse, and um, once we're done with that, then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the hunt for glowstone. I'm already so in here. We're gonna have to get suited up. We're gonna have to, uh, you know, head out into the world. Um, oh, you do have quite a bit of stone here. Sounds busy, cute man. until they start shooting at you. Meow. Oh, oh god! Oh. Alright, uh, next question. I just threw some behind you. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Well, first question for this. But yeah, the first question for this one, I guess. What would you name the autobiography of your life? Ow, fuck. <laughs> 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 really? We'll go with it. I fell. <laughs> But I'm going with it. That that'd be it. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> no, ow, fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Corey, what about you? This book sucks. I think <laughs> really? There is a book yeah. already out called This Book Sucks. I'm sure there is. <laughs> Don't I would bother. call mine something that's like completely not what it is. That's exactly what I was gonna <laughs> name my book. It was like not about me. <laughs> Noodles Make guide to fine, di stuff. fine dining. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like the icy black hand of death club, and you know its membership rules. And then people were like, "What?" <laughs> like Stephen King something, but spell Stephen King completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dyslexia and you, and then it's like my book. <laughs> what a dick! I thought I was gonna get help. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Ow! <laughs> fuck. Not an autobiography of Noodle. <laughs> um. Oh, oh! Here's a sentimental one. What was the last movie, TV show, or book that made you cry? Green Mile. Are we talking about like it's ever made me cry? Mm. Like just ball and cry, or just like couple little crocodile tears. Like family tears. No, I don't think. I think it's the you were sitting down one fucking Thursday night, and you know you got your fucking ice cream, and you're just fucking crying your <laughs> eyes out, like uncontrollable wailing. Apparently you I haven't done that. No, that's yeah. never that's yeah. never happened to me. You guys haven't lived. <laughs> I've had man tears from the Green Mile. So. Oh man, that was it, the, man. The, man. The pulling, the pulling of the uh, the heartstrings. Yeah, Green Mile, dude. That one was okay. Great. Okay, we'll, we'll go with man tears, but I, mine is most definitely like I bawled my fucking eyes out. What was it? It was Titanic. Oh. No, I'm fucking. Titanic? I was gonna. No. Just owe you as a friend. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Damn it. No, it's a uh, um. What was it? Max and Mary. Max and Mary? It was a claymation movie. Uh, it was on Netflix for the longest time. I'm pretty sure it's still up there. Uh, it's about a, a like an eight-year-old Australian girl where she becomes a pen pal with the dude from New York. But he's got uh, Asperger's disease. Oh. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's just like uh, – it's just a mental condition where you know they can't tell uh, – like – they don't understand facial expressions or emotions or things like that. They're not sociopaths. They're mostly good people, but they just have problems. Um, I mean, if you want... Like, about the like, real, 
Well, if you want a real fucking answer, I would suggest looking it up yourself because I really don't know. But I, oh, all I know is that at, the movie was really great. It was heartfelt. It was touching. And I was like, wow, this is a really good movie. It was awesome. And then at the very end of the movie, like – Spoiler alert. Yeah, well, no, I'm not going to say it <laughs> there's some people out there who do get pissed off about spoiler alerts. But at the very end of the movie, I fucking bawled my goddamn eyes out, like uncontrollably. Like at first it was man tears, like – I'm by myself. You know, there's no shame. I'll just I'll just let loose a few tears because it was really pulling at the heartstrings. And that quickly turned into me like bawling on the floor in the corner, questioning what I'm doing with my life. I like, back and forth for all the better law. Right. The only thing I, I can only say like I, I tried my best. I did my I best. I tried my best. I did my best. I did my best. Over and over again. <laughs> that kind of fucking crying. Um yeah, it was it was it was an emotional roller coaster. And I, I really liked the movie. I really did. I showed it to Baby Girl, which was probably an accident. Because then I, by then I was like I was like man because oh, no. I was already used to the shot, which she most certainly wasn't. And you were there not were all prepared. kinds of girl tears everywhere. And no, there was like tissue. <laughs> Jack out of coal. You did. You pulled the fucking burning crusade on her, dude. Where to go? I know. I'm serious. Our golem is stuck under the water. Is he? I told you. Mm-hmm. That. No, no. The golem. They can drown. Crazy. Hit him. I'm pushing. Well, he's just he's just standing I'm on the dock. Piss him off. The other one. He's Is he stuck on the, the dock? Yeah, he's he's yeah. way down here. Not you. All right, I'm coming back. I bring, I bear fruits of my journey. Cause uh, uh you know, they can to death. Well, one of them's probably gonna drown to death. This is okay. We got plenty of iron. We can remake them. We can make them stronger. <laughs> um. You build it. You can make them fucking smarter because our, let's be honest, our fucking, our golems are kind of stupid. So the movie, I'm going to have to go with, um, I love you, man. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) No, uh, PS I love you was a good one. That had some good man tears in that. Never, never seen it. Pretty good. I'll just pick it up. There's um, two movies that I dropped a couple little squirt tears. Um, oh, tears. Well, okay. the, first, the first one was uh, A Walk to Remember. I don't know why, but just fucking got all emotional and whatnot about it and started fucking tearing up. And then the second one was recently, I saw, what was it, 50 50? And I was like, oh. That one got you? That one didn't couple. get me. It was good, it didn't get me. I got I got glowstone. Yeah. But I was like really really high, so I'm not too sure. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> do as we say, not as we do. Um, Seriously. All right. Next question. All right. All right. All right. So yeah, um. Oh, never mind. Where's zombie? I'm up on the lighthouse. Uh, I'm coming to you. All right. This part's too dark, and I don't have torches, so I'm heading back. <laughs> Um, I found a coal mine with 58 pieces of coal in it and nine pieces of iron. Good job. Hey, can I take this sand evader down and build it back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's more fun than gravel. I might um, trap myself. I don't know where I am. I'm getting more coal, I know that much. If you could witness any past event, present or future, what would it be? Um, any one? Yes. Can it be? Wait, a past or said future? Or any past event, present or future event? The end of the world. Well, do we get to come back from this? Yeah, 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 yeah. You you just witnessed it, like you 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 saw it in your mind's eye. Here, here catch. <laughs> What? He's just throwing it under there? Oh, shower me with that golden goodness. Um, I would have to say... Well, see, that's not fair, because I would want to do a a group of all the assa- successful assassinations of past, present, and future. You know, just to see, just to know if it really was the man on the grassy knoll or the man with the umbrella... Or if it was John Wilkes Booth and not a fucking vampire right, hunter. Exactly. You 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 know. <laughs> you get it. Um. How about the starting of the universe? Ooh. 
See, that's what I would go with. I would go with the Big Bang. I would want to know the beginning of the universe. Now, if, if all of a sudden I'm like in a blank void and there's a big voice that said, let there be light, I'd be like, all right, well, fine, fine. You win. GG. You win, I guess. I guess I'm going to some form of Catholicism. Mm. Thank you. That doesn't mean Christianity was right now. Don't get ahead of yourself. I know. Mormon is the correct answer. Mormon. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I love Mormon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> ah. Sorry. Not. Um, let's see. Okay, so so beginning of time. Corey wants to see the end of the world. Ah, oh, shit! Really? We need two more. I have a dust on me. Well, I give you the dust. Yeah, I have a uh, dust also. Back to the Nether. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just like fuck it and then like you just bailed. Um, all right, next question. Next question. Did no, everybody sorry, answer that question? Answer. He's like, "Fuck, man, just leave me alone." You guys are ruining my zombie time. <clears throat> what was the question? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> if, you, oh, yeah. if you can bear witness to any event, past, present, or future, what would you bear witness to? Oh, the humanity. I would like to see how I die. Ooh. The moment of your death. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a that's a pretty oh, good wait. vision, I guess. That's powerful, man. It would suck if it was like you, but you don't look any older, and like you fell off a ladder. <laughs> or it was like tomorrow. Rest of your life. Yeah, like it was tomorrow, but it was because of a heart attack, and you're just like, oh, I'm fucking serious. So you start working out, and then you have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and that would make you wonder, does that really shake? Wah, wah, Anyways, wah, 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 good wonder. song. Nice. All right, next question. And now that strike finally answered. Um, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I already know what my brother's going to say. You don't know me, yeah. all right? You don't know... Things. Hmm? All right, fuck off, you. Baxter. Baxter, like the dog. Fuck off. Okay. Can I change it to what? My name, the last up until the point I was born, was supposed to be Baxter, and hmm. they changed it. My mom, I think my mom changed. It. I can't remember the story. My mom. So they went. They instead they decided to name me after my gay uncle. Mhm. Mm but I would go back to Baxter in a heartbeat if I could. I, you know, I'm going to agree with you, not on the Baxter thing, but I would go back, I would change my name to the original name my parents, or my mom was going to give me before she backed down and finally agreed with my dad. My dad named me after my grandfather and my great-grandfather. Um, my mom wanted to name me Wolfgang. Oh, dude, we would have been like the best duo ever. Wolfgang and Baxter. Stage Wolfgang and Baxter. I think that so that sounds like a Devo band. Down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that, that's what I would change my name. No, I just, I just forgot. What you, Corey? I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't think I would. Change no, he's fond of his name. No, you had so. to. Witness you protection. You There's, there's witness no other protection. option. To, yeah, witness protection. You have to change your name. They're letting you pick your first name. It'll probably be something. Corey with an E. It's probably gonna be something with another <laughs> C, just so he can keep his C squared. <laughs> C-O-R-R-E-Y. Oh, yeah. C-O-R-E-Y. That's how everybody spells it anyways. Uh, that's a, Ooh, fuck that's a bullshit me. answer, but okay. I, I, I guess. I'm <sighs> here who likes his name. No, I like Come my on. name. And especially the Hebrew meaning of my name. Only God can judge me. Oh. <laughs> and a paladin. But that's a different story. So Death, that's a different story. Don't talk about those stories. Oh, boom. Congratulations. You blew up in the water. Nothing happened. All right. What about you, Strike? Um, Spilled beans. Well, seeing how we're getting into names and history of our names. Um, when I was born, my family, my father and my mother, they decided on two different names. 
I was supposed to be named Christopher, but my father decided to name me Andrew after him and his father, and so on and so forth. Um, my father was adopted, so his parents weren't really my blood family. So, I mean, the names really didn't mean too much. But, um, my birth certificate ended up being blank for my whole life. Yeah. And all I, all I am is boy of last name, which hence, you know, some of my online handles. And, um, I had social security card under my other names and man, this is really weird until I became an adult and realized I had to have an ID to do anything. Yeah, it took months and months and fucking hundreds and hundreds of dollars trying to get me you were an just ID. A name with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call me Ken. I don't care. I don't, I don't give a shit. Guess. So why didn't you just name yourself Kick and Wang? <laughs> so everybody fucking knew you as anyway. True. Man, you got like a free know, pass man. to rename yourself. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say well, free, well, but yeah, because yeah. seeing how I'm, you know, over eighteen, I'm legally an adult. I have to pay for a name change, all that other crap. So I just stuck with boy of last name. Oh, Enderman! Don't look at him! Don't look at him! I'm not looking at you. I'm not so right what I, pick, I would probably choose Christopher, which was who Redstone was supposed to be originally my name. Hmm. I found Enderman. I got Glowstone. All right, so I, uh, it turned out that was a really good, insightful question. Look, see, we all we learned something now. about each other. Oh, we did, we did, and that leads into I the next question. <laughs> you having trouble? You fuck one kid, I want to marry one. Who we do? Um, yeah. I lost the question. Uh, was it personal questions or personal history questions? Well, again? What was the last experience that made Ow. you a stronger person? Oh, God. Person? Good job. Oh, my God. I just watched Corey get smashed. Oh, my God. See, this is why we don't fuck with the creatures on this island. That we They are the natives. Sure, we are the invaders. Corey, he's picking up your stuff. Just letting you know. Ow. I was gonna give it to him. Anyway. Take it. I don't want it. <laughs> Too late. Here. Yeah. Oh wait, the Enderman picked it up. No, I was. I didn't know he could do he that. Sandbox in his hand. Oh, thank um, you. Thank you. Um, I'm not looking at you. Just picking again? up my stuff. All right. The question is, what is the last event that made you a stronger um, man? Getting my driver's license. I would have to say. Losing, losing the uh, the weight that I lost. I lost hmm. uh, uh, close to forty pounds. I'm still losing weight. I was up there, man. Like I was up there. You seen me? And uh, I lost. I lost mm -hmm. it all. And uh, I lost it all. Yeah, I yeah. Can say that. All right, that's a good answer. How about you, Corey? Getting my driver's license. How does that make really? you a stronger man? Yeah. That's the last event that made you a stronger man? Well, it made me happy. I've been trying for like years to get it. You know, I'm almost 21 years old, so. This, this is true. Getting a car, you know, Those it's are never been like easy for me. Hmm. So. God, I don't... The last event that made me a stronger well, a, man. I know it's weak, but it, it was the last one, so. Okay, what about you, Strike? Mm. I'd say overcoming the depression that I was in back in 2009. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to giggle real quick. I, I yeah. swear to God you were going to say nom. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool. I thought you were going for. I was. 
Back in Nam, 78. Get the fuck out of here. You weren't in Nam. <laughs> you didn't get that far. And I apologize for getting ahead of you. And that's what it's like in my head. You're like, oh, I was just getting past the depression. I had Nam. I'm like, whoa. How old are you? <laughs> All right, what's our time old. check? Um, uh, let me look. Uh, we're running at 20 minutes, so we have enough time. I mean, we accomplished a lot of questions and beasted out a uh, lighthouse. Make use to. Yep, yep. I need more wood. I, wood. I need more wood. I just went to the nether for you. Now you want wood. You know, like, go fuck yourself, you ungrateful shit. Come here. I'm going to go get wood. I planted a bunch of trees. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not on the thing. What about you? Need a chest you? in the lighthouse. What about what? Chest in the lighthouse. No, strike ass something. Um, zombie. Oh, mine? Yeah. Uh, it made me a stronger man. You know what? I'm I'm going to say it's it's getting together with uh baby girl and you know becoming a like i guess a stepdad to these kids um for as as gaily sentimental as that is like i i don't like kids i really don't Uh, i i really i'm uncomfortable around children i don't like them and the fact that i've grown as an individual that like i don't have a problem anymore with like changing diapers or cleaning up spills or you know spending like quality time with the kids like we go out to the park or something like that like i think that has taken me to the next level of adulthood i guess so i i would say that as the last thing that's that's what uh i've gotten the most out of well out of somebody asking me right. tonight No, no, well, maybe. So I don't know. Baby girl's working, so she used to come so tired. I hate you so much. <laughs> Here. Oh, shit. I almost punched you <laughs> inside your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I love it when you so throw your wood all over me. One more question, or are we going to... Yeah, yeah, we'll do one more question. Just one more. Uh, let me look. Oh, God. Um... What story does your family always tell about you? <laughs> Being chased with a vacuum cleaner. Enlighten us. Don't 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 you fucking cop out on this at this one. <laughs> when I was a toddler, my dad would chase me with a vacuum cleaner. And I had the I was terrified of vacuum cleaners, at least to the age of thirteen or fourteen, and I didn't know why. And one day I found out when he was telling him, other people of the story, and I was like, "You oh, son of a bitch!" Man. You know what? If we're gonna go with dad on this one, and I'm gonna, and you can show him this later, I'm gonna out him completely. That fucking toy car of yours when he flipped me on my goddamn head. Oh my god! <laughs> fucking ah! Oh. Don't get me wrong, I love my dad, but that was a dick move. All right, come out with it. My dad got a camera for like a week from a buddy of his, right? Yeah, he borrowed like, it. Like for he borrowed some a, like a I video camera. I don't know why. I don't care why at this point in my life. It's done and over with. <laughs> he <sighs> he was doing all kinds of tricks with the camera. He was holding them upside. Holding, he had the camera turned upside down. He was walking me and my sister on the ceiling, walking, and we were we were acting like it was an earthquake and shit. He has this VHS still, mind you. And every time I bring somebody home, whether it be friend, girlfriend, he would always show them this fucking tape. So you remember those little tight cars? That were yellow at the base and ye- yellow on the top and red on the base. Yeah. Okay. Mm-mm, yeah. Uh, What's up? Yeah. Don't yeah. Watch yeah. your feet. Okay. I'm 12. I'm like five foot whatever. I don't fit in this thing. It's Corey's car. He's one. That's what it was for. It was for his birthday. It was a video camera for Corey's birthday. I'm 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 tall for my age, right? My dad is like, come on, get in this car, go upside down. It'll be funny. Yeah, except you forgot the fact that I'll be sitting in the car on my head. And, like, the whole time, I'm like, ow, 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 ow. You can read my lips going, owie, owie, ow. It's horrible. 
<laughs> oh, I hate that video. <laughs> Fuck you, Corey. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fucking funny. <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> this short terrified of vacuum. Terrified of vacuum. <laughs> If I could turn on the vacuum, I'd run in the room. <laughs> like, nope, nope, Bullshit, nope. Man. All right, Strike. Out with it. I can... I, I don't know, dude. Like, I couldn't even tell you. Like, my family's not a very strong family, so I, I have no fucking clue. Just got a ball through. Uh, I know. Seriously, you're so depressing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, mine, I guess the the one that they always fucking tell everybody is the same one that I have to fucking hear every goddamn Thanksgiving and Christmas whenever my family is together, especially when my cousin Ronnie is there. Uh, Ronnie is a girl, girl Ronnie, short for Veronica. Um, when I was little, I was a very I'm not going to say spoiled, but I'm going to say, okay, I'll say fucking spoiled. My grandma spoiled the fuck out of me. And um, she, if I, if I started crying or whining about something, then she would give it to me. So I became very spoiled. The one thing that she always asked me, since, you know, she speaks Spanish, I most certainly don't, but I can understand Spanish. Haha, <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Um, she would always ask me, if I wanted food. And for those of you who don't know, my family's nickname for me is Chachi. So she'd be like, Chachi, get it, Papa? And I'd be like, sure, because I loved potatoes and her french fries. So I was like, yeah. My cousin Veronica would fucking tease me about that to no end, to the point where I'd be crying on the floor throwing a tantrum for her to stop. And she'd be like, Chachi, get it, Papa? Oh, Chachi, imagine. get it, Papa? Yeah. Yeah, she get and oh my god, I lost my fucking mind, and I would do it every time. And had I known then what I know now, I wouldn't have freaked out. I would have played along with it, but because I'm a little kid, I freaked out. I threw a tantrum, so she kept fucking doing it, and it kept getting right. funnier and funnier, you know, on her half. So every fucking family fucking function I go to, that's the first thing they'd be like, dinner time, everybody's Don't getting together, and she look at me and go, Papa, motherfucker, oh just rage. Oh my god, it still annoys me. Me saying it is annoying me. Oh god. What does that mean? Yeah, you want potatoes? Chachi get a papa? Yeah. Yeah, it's like Chachi was my nickname, so it'd be like it'd be like noodle, you want potatoes. Okay. Alright, so and zombie want potatoes. Like food, just food in general, right? Well yeah, well yeah, I mean, I guess the, the official translation is potatoes, but in our Mexican household, you no know, papa was any kind of food. Especially to a little kid, you know. Alright, so... <sighs> yeah, yeah, I gotta no, calm I, down. I, I, was, I was doing Whew. the same thing. Uh, this video. <laughs> that video. Alright, well... <laughs> that I'm gonna video. Alright, alright. Okay, well, we... we, we yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Each other. Huh. Almost like... The good ways in the movies you like to watch on the other tube. Mm. I'm looking at you, big guy. Looking mm. at you. Put down the Cheetos. <laughs> Red tube. Anyways, no, not you. Go away. Oh, God. Oh, put it back on. Put it back on. Oh, oh. So, yeah, he did. Are there any he took off his pants. For anybody else? Ow. 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 Goodbye. Ow. Thanks for coming. Alright. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>